Psalm 103, Lab 1. So starting on page 2 in your lab manual. We'll just follow the steps one by one. I'll, I'll have you guys uh, read the steps on your own. I'll just go over the main pitfalls. So once you log on, all you want to do is click on Doctors. And it'll come up with this screen here. And you can't make any changes. It's grayed out until you activate the screen. So for us, uh, the lab menu wants to search for a couple doctors. But for us, we know that all these doctors are going to be new. So you can just jump right in and select new. So here is the new icon. It's the blank one. Just click that. And then you can start. So all the doctors and patients and prescribers, we always want to enter in the last name first. So on page four, on step six, that's the name we'll enter in. So we'll just enter in Peterson Larry. And notice that everything is capitalized, so don't worry about shifting. All the letters are capitalized. And make sure you're in that format. You can use your uh, mouse or your cursor to move boxes or click Enter, Tab, or Shift, Tab to go back. Here for, let's see, do we have a contact? Hmm. Brandon, what step is that? Step seven. Okay, there it is. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> so step seven, uh, the contact, we'll just enter Brandon, B-R-A-N-D-O-N. Address, so here's a little trick on the address. I skip down, well, I'll add in the street address, but for the um, state, city, and zip, I'll skip down to the zip. So let's enter in the street number, so we're at 11321. And that is 9th Street. Okay, so I'm going to try to enter in the zip code. So make sure you're all the way to the left. So your cursor needs to be all the way to your left. So 50115. Now if I push enter and the city and the state propagates, then it's already in the system. So it's already in the system. I don't have to add it. Okay, so that's the best way to check for zip codes. Let's go down to step 11. We'll enter in the phone number. 717-330-1990. Just be careful to make sure that your cursor is all the way to the left when you start typing. Enter in the extension and then make sure you go all the way down to the fax number 717-330-1991 any other numbers nope so now we'll enter in the quick code so it's not going to remind you to enter the quick code anymore after this so Larry Peterson we'll just do LP No specialty code. And do they give us an MPI? No, DEA number. So they did give us a DEA number. So step 13, they want BP123489T. And then this one just goes through, but if it ever asks you if you want to retry, just remember to push no. State license number. 073223 which is the same as the Medicaid number for all of our prescribers receiver number Red Cross they didn't give us um, covered by Medicaid so that's the box right here that needs to be checked and then for Step 18, this is the only hospital you'll enter in. All the subsequent prescribers, they won't ask you. So just leave it blank for any uh, additional prescriber. And then status for the prescription to be valid. 
the doctor has to be active. All right, anything else they asked us to do? City Hospital active. Okay, so this is how you print screen. So open up a Word document. So just, just a brand new blank one. And you can just type in your name. Just type COM 103 lab. Go to the image you want to print screen. And usually in your upper right hand corner, there's a PRT SCR tab. Some of you guys a button. Some of you guys might have to push down function and print screen while you do this, but most of the time you just need to uh, activate the screen you want to take a snapshot of. Push print screen once. And then when you go to your Word document, wherever you want to put it, wherever your cursor is, um, for some of you guys, you can put print screen again. For me, I right click and then I paste the image. So that's it. As long as you have Larry Peterson and I can read it off, then, then you're good. Just push enter, make your cursor down to the next one. And then once everything is done, go ahead and push save. So a good rule of thumb is to print screen before you save. Because sometimes when you click save, things disappear on you. So make sure you always print screen before you save. That way it's always on your Word document ready for you. All right, now let's turn to page six. On page six, you have an additional nine prescribers. So that last one is just a blank one. Don't worry about that one. So remember, last name, comma, space, first name. So here, all you gotta do is to start a new one is to click blank. Same doctor? Yeah, same, same one. Yes, you have a 10 print screens all together oh, for lab one. So the one we just went through step by step, and then on page six, starting with Dr. Kathleen Judith, you'll add those nine additional prescribers. How, how do you save that doctor if you already typed it up? Once you save that doctor, go ahead and click new, because now you need to enter in a new doctor. So if you click new, it'll start a new blank document for you. And then just start with uh, Dr. Kathleen Judith. So Judith, comma, space, Kate. So, so go ahead and give that a try for lab one, entering prescribers.